MicroStation Essentials, Element Selection. Element Selection is one of the most versatile tools available in MicroStation. It allows you to select elements in the design file in a variety of ways. There are many options and it's one of the most commonly used tools. You can use it to modify elements with selection handles as well. Let's see how it works. The Element Selection tool is found in your main task. It's the very first tool. So that probably says a lot about how important it is. When you select element selection, you have many tool settings available to you. You can do individual selection, and this is going to be a new selection set. So this works relatively straightforward. Using the individual selection tool, you can select an element. Once you select an element, it gets highlighted with a highlight color, and it has handles on it. I select another one here, it's going to create a new selection set, so it's going to release the first one. I also have the choice of creating a selection set by drawing a rectangle or a block. This allows me to select multiple elements at one time. You also have the ability of creating an element selection set by choosing a shape. You can release your selection set by selecting nothing. Using a shape, I can be a little more careful about what I'm selecting and select exactly what I want to. You can also use a circular selection set. This allows you to draw a circle around what you want selected. In addition, there's a linear method of selecting. This allows you to draw a line across those things that you want selected. In addition to creating a new selection set every single time, you can add to your selection set. So in this case, I can select one, two, three, and keep on going, keep on adding to my selection set. If I make a mistake, I can always choose the subtract from selection set and remove objects that I do not want selected. You also have the ability to invert your selection set. This will deselect things that are selected and select things that are not selected. So by this allows me to deselect or select if it's not selected. I can also use my methods that I have available before to do the same thing. I also have the ability to clear my selection set here or choose select all. When you select all you'll notice that it does not put all the handles on because that would be too many graphics on the screen at one time. When you choose an individual selection set or any other method, you can actually start to draw a window. So you can actually automatically go into the block mode. In this case, you can also, if you go from left to right, it's going to only include the things that are inside the window. If I go from right to left, then I select things that are crossing the window. Or things that are inside the window. When you select something, you have handles on it. You can use the handles to edit items. By grabbing the handle, you can now reposition that handle to a new location. You can disable your handles if you want to. So once you have it on, you can turn on or turn off the handles. So if you don't want to see the handles, you can disable them. You can also select the handles using the Select Handles tool. You can also turn that off if you want to. 
In addition to selecting by picking items, you can also use the extended settings here to select by other properties. For example, I want to select by level. I want to select everything on a specific level. For example, level default. Or the level geometry. Once again, by picking nothing, picking empty space, you can deselect everything. You can also select by color, by line style, by line weight, by element template, by element class, or by element type. So if I'm looking to select only the arcs in the file, it's only going to pick up the arcs. I can deselect by clicking on arc again, and that will release the arcs. Selection by color. Again, you just need to find the right color of interest and select by those colors only. In addition to these standard methods, you also can right click on any one of these tabs here and select by textile, by dimension style multi-line styles by transparency values or display priority values. So there's many, many different ways of selecting. Finally, you have additional tools down here in your status bar to select. Once I select something, you'll see that I get a number of elements that I've selected. I can click here and select element, select all, this gives me a total count of the elements in this model. Select none. And there's an additional tool called select by attributes, which is a little bit more elaborate, allowing you to do a more substantial query on your elements to select the correct ones. Finally, if I'm using a tool like move, copy, scale, rotate, I may want to select ahead of time. So I can select before I copy or after I choose a copy tool I can actually draw a selection window around the elements I'd like to copy. And now I can use that <clears throat> to copy. So this allows you to select after you've chosen the tool. So element selection allows you to select elements in the design file. You have many options available to you, and remember it's one of the most popular and commonly used tools available. If you have the handles turned on, you can use it to modify elements with those selection handles.